Hey folks, it's Robin Clayton here with another episode of Zodi Sea at the Farm. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing very well. Um, I'm not going to be working on assembling glass today. I'm going to be just strictly cutting glass. I, I just woke up today and felt that I really just needed uh, to do a, a video on just cutting glass, um, you know, for any type of glass, um, whether you use it for your art or whether you use it for your garden, uh, I can I can show you how to use this drill press. So stay with me. I'm going to give you the tips from A to Z on how to cut holes in glass using a drill press. Okay, see you soon. This is a Ryobi uh, 12 inch. Sorry about that. 12 inch uh, drill press, okay? And I have a little light here that I have just placed there myself so I have more light to see. And this is to tighten the chuck, this right here. And this is my diamond tipped uh, bit that I'm gonna be using to cut the glass. Here's the wheel on which operates Okay, the um, the drill press. Here's my on and off switch. This right here um, helps me to adjust it to the height that I need it. Okay, depending upon the depth of or the width of the glass that I'm cutting. So this is just a way to adjust. So this is a ceramic piece and I'm gonna go ahead and use my drill press to um, put a hole um, straight through this. And I'm gonna center it first, but once I get it centered and marked, I will then proceed to the drill press, okay? So stay with me. Hey folks, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started on uh, using this drill press. Uh, I already did the introduction on it, and showed you how the, um, the drill press works. So I'm gonna bring this camera down just like this and I've already pre assembled I mean, I've already uh, marked the um, the dish ahead of time. I measured it with my um, measuring tape, and I centered it. Let's go ahead and see if it hits there now, and it does. So I just need to adjust this very quickly. All right, I'm turning it on, and here we go. slightly pulling on the handle just slightly and I'm letting that water along with that drill bit uh, do what it's supposed to do okay and there you see it punch through just like that okay so go ahead and wipe this off just like that Okay, and there you go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get, do another one here. And this is a, another pretty um, ceramic flower. And I'm gonna turn it, go ahead and sit it on, right on here. And then I'm gonna push it right under where I want it to sit. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of water here that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on that plate so that the, um, the drill bit can get through the, um, the ceramic easier. Okay, let me go, just go ahead and give a quick check. Yes, okay, I'm in position and ready to go. So turning on my Ryobi now. Just bringing it down. Just heard a slight crack there, so I think it's okay. It's just getting through the through the top of the ceramic. Okay, so you saw how it pushed through just like that. Okay, so let me bring this over here. Let me wipe this off. Okay, and here we go. There it is. Okay, there's a perfect hole. All right, so that's the next one. That's number two. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do 
a red one now. So same process. So it just, you know, it just takes, it just takes a little bit of time, but you just take your time. If you rush it, then you'll end up uh, breaking the glass. So you just need to make sure that your, uh, first off, that your drill bit is sharpened, okay? Because it doesn't take long for these glass drill bits to, uh, you know, get worn. So this one is a relatively new uh, drill bit that I'm using. Uh, so, but you know, I do have to change them every once in a while when they start to um, to lose their um, glass that helps cut the glass. All right, so he, let me go ahead and just do a quick bring this down to make sure it's right where it needs to be, and it is. And here we go. <laughs> Pull it to me. Okay, let me write this off. Okay, here's another one. Okay, it's not cracked. It's just perfect. Okay, that's number three. And then here's my last blue one. I've got a whole ensemble of, of kind of the same flower, but either way, I'm still gonna cut them because I think they'd be, be just so cute out in the garden. All right. And I got these, I think I got these particular plates over at Goodwill. So, you know, there's always really cool things there to, uh, that you can use in your garden. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, let me pull this away. There we go there, and on the back. Okay, so there we go, well, that's the fourth. I'm gonna do one more here as well. This is a, this is a beautiful flower that I'm about to cut, um, so I need to get this bottom part here off. Now, as you can, if you can see, you probably can't see where, where you're at, but this is too, actually too tall for this. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and bring this down some. Okay, let me go ahead and adjust this. Okay, so there we go, just like that. Okay, and I've got it, I've got it where I need it to be. Try and put a little bit of water on this. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started. That's the next one. And then here, here's a final piece that I'm gonna cut. Okay, this is a very substantial piece of glass here. So it's, it's beautiful though. So we're gonna cut this today. So we're just like this. You can probably fit this right under there just like that. That's perfect. Okay. And then let me see, I'm going to probably have to adjust. Okay. Right there, right there. In the, there in the center. Okay, let me get a little bit of water. Okay, this one I'm going to really, really take my time with because this is a very expensive piece of glass. All right, so I'm going to take it slow. 
All right, here we go. Perfect there. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed this episode here at Zodice at the Farm. And if you have enjoyed this episode, uh, please hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And if you have any questions regarding the cutting of this glass today, you can reach me at zodice@gmail.com. And if you're interested in any of these pieces, you can find me on Etsy at Robin Clayton uh, Zodice Glass Shop. Okay, so I hope you all have a great Great weekend and a brand new week and I'll see you next week here at Zodi C at the farm. Take care and many blessings sent your way. Bye-bye.